two basic shapes you can create for each gender. For a male, you want to do a martini glass. So it goes, so you have a smaller bit here, and that's your shoulders, and then the hips are down here. And then for a female, you draw a triangle shape, and then you draw a circle. And that helps you to make sure you do curves and straight lines. Let's draw the heads in there, and then a line straight down so that we balance it. You want the body to be about five or six head sizes, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So about there. And then draw straight lines down for the legs and hands. The hands go about at the top of the thigh. And then we'll draw the same for the female. And then for the feet, you can just draw, it's sort of like curved triangle type shapes. And then the hands. And then you've got the basic construction lines. Then you want to start marking in where all the joints are. And then you can start laying the skin over the top. The martini glass creates the effect of wide shoulders and thin hips, which means that when you draw in the body parts, you curve round here, and you get the masculine body shape. And with the arms coming down. And then the legs. And then the triangle with the circle reminds you to do curves for the female. So just go into where the triangle meets the circle and then go around so that you get the wider hips. And then there's your basic construction lines. And you can start moving everything about so that it looks more realistic. So let's start with the man. I'm going to slope his shoulders down slightly so that if you could see the collarbone, it would be like this, and then going over the shoulder blades here. So then the arm goes round and down. And then I'm going to make him sort of look more that way. So I'm going to make this part of his back more rounded, then come in, and then a little bit of the hip, 
but keeping a straight line. You don't want to do big curves because it will make them look more feminine. And then down towards the legs. And then because he's facing more of a 45 degree angle, I'm going to use more straight lines for this side. Because you'd have the pecs here and then the six pack there, so straight down like that. And then in for the back of the knee. And then you want a high curve here and then down. And drawing the knee here, come in a bit and down to the feet. And then for the leg that's facing more forwards, I'm just going to draw in the knee there. With the high bit. And then coming in on both sides. I'm just going to pull that up a bit, I think. arms. You want to go in because you would have it going like that. Go in for the underarm and then down to about where you think the elbow would be, about here. And then down again. So you can either do a point or you can go in a bit or you can go out a bit, depending on the direction of the arm. And then I'm going to have in here and then down to the wrist and then the neck and then for the head I'm going to use the trick I showed you in the previous video the neck joining up here the other side of the neck here So you've got the cheekbone, and then across here will be the eyes, and then the face is like that. And then you can draw in the rest of the head, about there. And then your hands will be here, and then the feet as well. When you're drawing the female, you want to use more curves to show off the character, so curve in with the neck, then slope down and round for the shoulder blade, down to the arm, down to the elbow even, and then down to the wrist, and then straight back up, and then curve in and then out round that circle that you draw and then down for the thighs and then the bottom of the legs go in a little bit where the knee is and then for this side follow where the front of the neck is and come down And then you can draw in the chest. And then in towards where the triangle is. And then back out a bit for the next leg. Draw in the knee and down to the foot. And then draw the shoulder just over the top of the chest coming down 
and then out and then you've got the elbow just there and then it's really smooth whereas the male has more straight lines and then you've got your hand and, and then your feet down here for the head we're going to use the same trick forehead in for the eyes cheekbone straight down for the chin around and then the ear would be about there and then straight round for the back of the head and then follow that round and then you can start to ring in all the details spend a little bit of time to look over and check you've got everything in the right place I've just moved in the guy's shoulder a little bit towards the centre uh, and then you can start working on the extremities